students in this video we will understand the questions of the chapter interest exercise 9c which is based on the topic compound interest we have already understood the difference between compound interest and simple interest now let us see the questions you can see the first question you can see the first question which is given in the book a sum of rupees 8000 is invested for 2 years at 10% per annum compounded compound interest you have to calculate interest for the first year principal for the second year interest for second year then you have to calculate the final amount at the end of the second year and then you also have to calculate the compound interest on in the second year so let us see now here in the question principal is given time is given as 2 years and rate is given as 10% so as i for the first year simple we will uh, just calculate this compound interest with the help of si so we know the formula of si is prt upon 100 so p is the principal rate we will take one year because we are doing the we are using si method and in this si method we when we are doing the questions of compound interest we just take the time as one one year only so we have taken the rate as 10% and then we have cancelled and got the answer as 800 which is the si of the first year now we will calculate the amount for the first year which is principal plus interest that is 8800 now principal for the second year as we have understood that in compound interest the amount of first year becomes the principal of the second year so this is the principal for second year which is 8800 and then we will calculate the interest for the second year by again by simple method that is prt upon 100 here principal is now 8800 and then after we will calculate the amount for the second year that is 8800 plus the interest which is given so we will add both the values that is 9680 now the compound interest compound interest earned in the second year is 9680 minus 8000 which will be 1680 so this is the final compound interest which we got at the end of the second year and for compound interest also we have the same formula that is principal minus interest and here of uh, the uh, formula for compound interest is amount minus principal so our amount was 9000 final amount is 9680 and the principal was the we will always sub to find the uh, compound interest for the last year we will always subtract from the first principal which was given so the principal is 8000 so we will subtract from the original principal we know that we know that amount is equal to amount is equals to principal plus si and si will be amount minus principal so what we have used here so it is amount minus principal the final amount minus the original principal which was given in the question so this is our answer in rupees you can see the next question which we have solved today on which we have uh, solved in the pdf which i have already given to you the question is saying you have to calculate the amount and the compound interest 
on rupees 12000 in 2 years at 10% per annum per year or per annum so in this question we have to calculate amount and the compound interest so principal is given here as 12000 rate is given as 10% and time is total time is given as 2 years but we are solving with si method so we will take 1 1 year so si we will take the si method we will put the values and find the si then we will find the amount then principal for the second year will be will be the amount of first year so this is the principal for the second year we have to just break the years for first year and for the second year and then here again we will find the amount and then compound interest will be compound interest is we have added the interest part that is the first year interest plus second in year interest this is the total compound interest or you can do it with compound interest is equals to final amount minus the previous principal which was given so this is the we will get the same values here you can either do with this method or you can do with this method both methods are correct now you can see the next question that is question number 7 students rest of the question you can practice by yourself because all these questions are repeated question and the same type of question now you can see seventh question mohan borrowed 16000 for three years at five percent per annum at compound interest you have to calculate the amount that mohan would have to pay at the end of the third year now total time is given here as three years now we have two method to do this question the first method is you can see the method there are two method that is method one and method two method two is the simple method which we were applying which we have applied just we have applied in the previous question that is the si method we have to calculate the si for one one year for the first year we will take what time as one year and again for the second year we will take time as one and for third year we have just broken we have just broken time in three parts because time was given as three years so we have broken the si in three parts and then we will find the interest and then the amount and then that amount will become the principal for the second year again the principal of this amount of the second year will become the principal of the third year in the similar way we can find the compound interest this is one way of doing the question the second method which we have applied that is the formula method that is given in your book that amount is equals to p plus r upon 100 power t here p is principal a is amount r is rate and t is time for t you can use t or you can use n so principal here is 16000 and we will put all the values 5% we have put the values rate is given as 5% so we have put the value as 5% and then we will put time as 3 in powers and then after we will calculate so we got 1 upon 20 we will take the LCM we will get 21 upon 20 and we will just cancel it whatever is getting cancelled we will just cancel it and we will multiply the numerator part in this method we got the amount as amount we have got as 18522 suppose in this question it has uh, it would have been asked to find the compound interest so what we uh, we would have done we would have just for compound interest we would have just subtracted a minus p that is 8522 minus 16000 and we would have got the answer here as compound interest but in this question they have only asked about the amount so we will do it till till here 
ओके स्टूडेंट्स इज नॉट अ टफ थिंग दैट यू कुड कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इट्स वेरी ईजी यू विल जस्ट प्रैक्टिस इट यू विल जस्ट गेट टू नो ना यू कैन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव सेट टू फाइंड दी अमाउंट एंड द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ऑन रुपीज प्रिंसिपल इज गिवेन हियर एज एट थाउजेंड एंड टाइम इज गिवेन हियर एज वन एंड अ हाफ ईयर्स एंड रेट इज गिवेन एज ट्वेंटी पर पर ईयर कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली नो स्टूडेंट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हाफ ईयरली Now in question twenty, you can see principal is given, rate is given, and time is given. We will apply the direct formula of compound interest, which is A is equal to P one plus R upon hundred upon to the power T. But here, compound interest is calculated. Compound interest is cal uh, calculated half yearly. so we in half yearly whenever it is given half yearly we have to divide the rate by 2 and we have to multiply time with 2 so this is of uh, formula for half yearly this is what you have to understand in this that's all which will be r upon 200 and to the power 2n We will put the values simply, and we will cancel out, and we will get this as amount, and then simply we will find the uh, compound interest, uh, compound interest which is a minus p, and we will get the answer. Again, in question number twenty-four, also we have the same type of question. Question number twenty-four, you can see find the amount and the compound interest on rupees thirty-two thousand for one year at twenty percent. Now here. Again, you have to calculate for half yearly. So we will use this formula, which is for half yearly. We will put the value. So we will just multiply time by two n for half yearly. So it will be two into one. And again, we will put the values and solve our sum. whatever is getting cancel we will cancel and we'll multiply the numerator part and then we will for we will calculate the compound interest which is a minus p and we'll get the answer so with this we are finishing our chapter interest next video we will do the next chapter which is algebraic expression